Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Sapphire. And I don't think I'm entirely ready just yet to take on Watson with this team. Or any of the Pokemon I have, to be honest. I could consider pulling out my fighting Pokemon I trade for back in Rustboro or whatever. But I'm not exactly fond of it considering it disobeyed me before I could take on Roxanne. So there's sort of a really bitter history there, which I point out in my Ruby run as well. So yeah, yeah I just repeated myself. But... It really does, you know, have a bad history with me when it comes to doing what I need to do when I need to do it. So it's hard for me not to hate on it a little bit. Guess I should have pecked it too. You can lower Chum of Arc's physical attack all you want, I don't care. And you always switch over to Ember for a stab advantage too. Um, yeah. Screw you, Peck. You're worthless. At least for this battle. Maybe if I was fighting a grass Pokemon, it'd be more useful than I'd also still have Ember, so that would be the point. Well, let's just finish it off. Well, this is one way, I guess, to earn a little money so I can buy more coins. Not the best method, though, considering these trainers just don't give out that much cash. Darn it, it's hard to stay where I want to with this bike. You're in the middle of a triathlon, you just keep running back and forth. I didn't know that was part of a triathlon. I mean, I figured you'd be playing around the entire area in a circle if you're training for that. It would seem prudent, at least. I really need to get some stat buffing skills for Joan other than double team. Unfortunately, I'm just not high enough level for him just yet. <sighs> that was lucky. And unfortunately, Ralts is really hard to power level up at times because Ralts just can't really take a hit from anything that does physical attacks. It's really annoying. Well. I've been saving the rare candies. Fair, I could, you know, just saw them all off later. For more valuable items. Uh, like coins, so I can buy flamethrower. I really want to get flamethrower. If I have that on Torchic, taking down Watson should be a breeze, to be honest. For the most part. Yeah, we'll trace your keen eye. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Man, why are these enemies so gosh darn annoying? Maybe I should have set up with double team there. Maybe then I could have dodged out of the way of the supersonic. <sighs> Bravely and boldly. Of course, in Emerald, um, this tr this breeder is switched with the male breeder in terms of their location, basically. I'm not sure why they did that one. It doesn't seem to really matter that much. Just a little odd side note, I guess. Albeit, Meryl's not that threatening of a Pokemon, anyway. Azumarill, on the other hand, I guess has great power to help itself out. But Meryl doesn't get much of anything. Well, seriously? Again? <sighs> well, I'll try to let Lacey out to pick up some glory, but I'm assuming already Lacey's going to lose. I don't have much confidence in my hound just yet. And smacks it's herself, right? I'm surprised it's managing to land so many supersonics, to be honest. It's not a very accurate confusion move at all. It's it's one of those moves you would never want to rely on. Like, ever. Like, if I had to pick a move I wouldn't want to use as a confusion move, it's supersonic. 
It's one of those moves you use if you have to. As soon as you get Confuse Ray or something better, that's what you take. Well, I guess we can try. I think this might be like a pure grass type though, so I can't really take advantage of it with um, Confusion. <sighs> Great, now I got seated. And even after I kill this thing, it's still gonna be able to provide health to its allies, so I'm gonna have to probably switch out to get rid of it. Okay, reached level 19 though. Ah, screw it. I'm pretty sure this thing's part poison. So I should be able to kill it in two hits anyway. Even if it does sap a bit of my strength with Leech Seed. <sighs> Though I can't really go any further because I die from the Leech Seed. Well, let's see. Who just sent out against Skinny? Guess I'll throw out Sly. I really need to get Sly a few more levels, though. Like, a lot more levels. Guess we can try flinching, though. Of course it didn't work. That never seems to work when I want to. 30% chance to flinch, and I probably won't pull off with this one, because it's going to kill it. And therefore, flinch won't even matter if it did go off. Hmm. Yes, yes they are. Just hand over your wallet now, please. And if this was the fire run, I'd be practically dumb by now. It takes so much longer with this team, though, because they're so much weaker, and I should have switched out Ralts with something else. Well... I can let Joan out for now. Then switch in. Let's see. Phoenix. I mean, there's no good options here. I really need to level up about the other half of them still. I've just been concentrating on the Firebird and stuff mostly. Um, let's see, Amber. Growl all you want. It won't stop me, because I'm using a special attack. Darn it. Ouch. Well, at least there's only three hits. <sighs> I could have saved myself so much trouble though, if I'd started out with Phoenix. <sighs> yeah, you really do. Let's see. We'll let you out. Yeah, a bug maniac, because that's so much more different than a bug catcher. Like, truly, it's completely different. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this thing a little hot underneath his feet. Damn, that special defense must be really terrible. <sighs> yeah, I'll still keep out Phoenix. It's actually faster than me. I'll give it some credit, it's actually faster than me. At level 15, but it's a fully evolved Pokemon, and Phoenix most definitely is not. I don't really have much of a choice in the matter here. That really ain't gonna help. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll let Monarch out. This definitely ain't gonna be the best matchup. It's, even if it's at the same level, it's... Got stab advantage with Gust, which I don't have as a Dust Ox. So I'm going to be taking much more damage much more quickly. Well, 
Why did it do that? It could have finished me off with another gust. Instead, he goes for... Absorb, of all things. That's more like it. No, who to send out? No, oh, why not? Foe's weak. Let's see it pulled off, Sly. Apparently, Beautifly is a lot slower, or Zigzagoon's a lot faster. Jeez. I suppose it does, but I can't feel like I'm not inept to myself, considering this team's had to go through a lot more, um... Had more Pokemon, and it's taken a lot more damage trying to get through here than the other teams. Let's see, who do I want to heal up? Well, if I need a pinch heater, we'll send in Phoenix. This other guy's another breeder, and he's got six Pokemon, so he's gonna be good for farming on. So we'll let Sly have a little fun here. Another person just talks about flowers, so there's no point in even talking with them, to be honest. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Isaac. Show me what you got. Well, it's headbutt time. Oh, finally we get a flinch. Against yeah, a Pokemon that wasn't that threatening to begin with. <laughs> I want to pick on Wishmer, but I've never found much use for it. Ah, uh, Mark would finally had a chance to shine, but nope. I might end up getting knocked out here. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, no, one hit kill. Probably thinks the critical hit somewhat. Because otherwise, I think it probably would survive, then turn around and punched me. Well, I guess we'll have to see who has the better Zigzagoon. I'm banging on myself by like two levels. Two. Yep. <sighs> well, at least I'm not the only one using Headbutt as a stylish maneuver here. Well, that was nice. But, keep using Headbutt. It's the only thing I have that's worth a darn on Sly here. Need to get some better moves. Um... Yes, and not Phoenix. I'm not sure if I got the best maneuver I can use on this thing, but we'll just set on fire here. Hmm. Well, that takes care of that. Level 21, huh? Well, I don't see any problem with using a slide against Poochina. I mean, I'd be better off using Pokemon with some sort of fighting maneuver, which I don't have right now. Hmm. Nice. Of course, I was half, more than half dead after that one hit. <sighs> Poochina is much better as a Mighty Yenna. I mean, at least then it can make up for its weaknesses, you know, with the advantage of um, Intimidate if you went the right route with it. At least that would be the route I would take it down. So I can lower an opponent's attack stat, so if it's fighting Pokemon that don't have special skills, it can have a reasonable chance to power up with Howl and stuff. But without Intimidate, Poochiana just goes down way too fast. It's hard to level up. Once you get up to Mayana level, though, it's, it's better. But right now... Lacey's just plain terrible. <sighs> Probably be a useful psychic killer down the road, considering dark types immune to psychic attacks, but uh, right now not not one of my better Pokemon. No matter how you slice it. Future potential and all, not really good right now. Of course I gotta get really close to this guy to draw him out. Hmm. 
Because Pokemon are Pokemon regardless of where they're at, I guess. I don't know. It's not even the best of questions, because who knows, maybe people in the actual real life do call them Mountain Pokemon. I don't know. Shoot, I'm gonna have to switch out. I'm switching to Rain Delay. Which is gonna be a bit of an awkward name until I can rebuild it. Well, of course not. Let's see, Absorb. Well, that takes care of Geodude. Okay. What else you want? Oh, that's right, he has another Geodude, and then a Machop. And that's basically the only thing we'll have to do this episode besides pick up a pair of items. I tend to ignore the one behind the tree. I don't know why, considering it might be something nifty. I just constantly go past it and ignore it. Well, because I don't like carrying on Pokemon with Cut, if I can avoid it sometimes. I'm just, I'm just not a big fan of Cut. I don't know why these things have to exist in the game anyway. They just seem to exist at a little padding to force you have to go back to explore, you know, instead of just deal with um, each gym as you come across them. Like, some people do anyway, but... Feels like you just can't go wherever you feel like it without having, you know, strength and all that stuff. It can be fun sometimes, but sometimes it's just irritating. Especially the trees. You're not gonna blow me away with a physical attack that's fighting based. Normal based, most definitely. Fighting based, no. I would say try Karate Chop, but that's not a fighting technique. Back in the old days, it was actually a normal attack. So, it actually would have worked on Ralts or Kadavra. Sora's strange to consider now that it's a fighting move, but that's not the case. I'm sure there's other moves that have had their typing changed, but Karate Chop's one of the few I actually do know about. Well, I'll take the Max Ether. And then work our way over this way to get another item. And that'll probably be it for the episode, because there's no trainers left to fight this way. Hopefully I won't have to go down the other route outside of town to do any more grinding next week. I'm hoping I can pick up what I need or gain the levels I need to make an effective counterattack. But I guess we'll see. What happens, happens, I suppose. But that's it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.